Okay, uh, I've had a request from a subscriber to show how we can change uh, a non-conical object into a conical object then attach that to another solid object well there are a couple of ways of doing this so we'll get onto that quite quickly so we'll start with a new design we'll draw a rectangle and a circle and pull that control key click the other one and pull that into some solid objects okay we've now got a cube and a cylinder so we're going to turn this cylinder into a conical object and there are two ways of doing this with the pull tool active we can select our surface we want to conify and then this draft tool over here we click on that and select the top of the cylinder we see like a little conical uh, draft symbol in the mouse cursor so then we have this strange little object showing a little angle and a pointer we can pull that and then we've got control over the cone by means of an angle so we can type an angle in there um, 30 say return and we have a cone with a side at an angle to the vertical of 30 degrees control Z and we're back now if we type a minus 30 in the cone goes the other way, return cone goes in that direction so that's one way of doing a cone uh, we'll control Z out of that now the other way is to select the rim of the cylinder and go to this tool down here in the options this one says pivot edge we'll activate that one and the symbol at the edge changes from an up and a down to an in and out we'll do that with that one set to get back and that one makes us turn it into a cone now we see a dot above here which is actually where the conic extension the cone become zero at that point click on that and we get a pull arrow we can actually pull that up and down and go all the way down turn it inside out okay so that's two ways of making the cone now to attach it to this block you see we've got two solids over here suppose we want to make it into one we will choose the move tool turn this upside down a bit and then select the cone part drop that onto the base select the up to tool click on this surface and then move it across at that point we've still got two two parts here but if we select one and control select the other one and then hit the combine tool up here click changes into one solid there we have one part now to prove it we'll get rid of that cube symbol in our cursor by pressing the escape key select the shell tool click on the base it's set at one millimeter at the moment so I'm just click and there we've shelled it out and we see that we've got a cube shell in there and also a conical one thus proving that it's all one solid now so there it is 
how to make a cylinder into a cone and attach it to another component. Hope that might be useful to you. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.